Hey Cloud Gurus and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. In this episode, we're going to take a look at three new updates from the land of Microsoft Azure. Operations Management Suite, or OMS, has moved to the Azure portal. Visual Studio Live Share gets some major updates and there's a brand new Azure course right here on A Cloud Guru. The Microsoft Operations Management Suite, or OMS for short, is a group of tools that enable end-to-end -end management of your applications in Azure, as well as other clouds or on-premises too. These tools were historically managed from the dedicated OMS portal, but as of this week, they have all now moved into the Azure portal. In fact, some newer services and features are now only available in the Azure portal. It's also probably worth mentioning that the term OMS is no longer used by Microsoft in their documentation. This is basically because end-to-end -end management in Azure has expanded beyond the few tools that OMS had to offer. So this group of wider tools is now more commonly referred to as Azure Management. None of the OMS services have actually changed, however, they are just now referred to more independently, and you can pick and choose which ones you want to use based on your application performance monitoring needs. The OMS portal will be retired on the 15th of January 2019, so if you're still using it, then I encourage you to check out the services that you're using over in the Azure portal. And there's a good guide at the link below to get you started. Although it's not technically an Azure product, I imagine lots of you are using Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code as an editor. VS Code is actually one of my favorite tools that I have in my toolkit as a developer. It's just something I really enjoy working with. And to make it even better, if you haven't already heard of it, there's a collaboration feature called Visual Studio Live Share that was announced in November last year. Live Share, which is also available in Visual Studio as well as VS Code, makes it really easy to collaborate with others on the same code base, but without having to synchronize code or configure the same dev environment. Whether you're stuck on a bug and need some help, or you want to quickly work through something with a colleague, this makes it super easy, and you can see everything that's happening in real time and it even has built-in support for audio conversations too. You can get started with LiveShare right away and there's a good quick start at the link below. LiveShare is still in public preview, but this week there's been a ton of major updates to the product, and this includes some of the most upvoted issues from their GitHub. Some of the top additions include read-only sharing, where your guests can see and evaluate your code, but you don't have the risk of them editing and breaking anything. This was actually the most upvoted GitHub issue that the team had, and I think it's pretty easy to see why. They've also added support to invite users from Slack to VS Code. You may already be using the brilliant VS Code extension for Slack that enables you to chat right within the editor, and this new feature expands on that to let you see who is online within your Slack team and then instantly invite them to collaborate on LiveShare via Slack, so you don't have to worry about sending around your LiveShare URLs anymore. I've been using this feature this week and I'm absolutely loving it. There's actually a ton of new stuff in this release, and we can't cover them all here. So you can check out the full release notes in the link below. So I'm excited to include this update this week. Our very own Lars Clint and your regular host of Azure This Week has launched a new course right here on A Cloud Guru to teach you how to use continuous integration with Azure App Service and Visual Studio Team Services, or VSTS. The course is aimed at web developers who are looking to understand how to easily deploy and manage production apps in Microsoft Azure Cloud, and it covers a whole ton of useful subjects that you can use in the real world as a developer, such as building formalized development pipelines and creating web apps in Azure App Service. I know I'll definitely be taking the course to brush up on my rusty VSTS knowledge, and if you want to check it out too, then you can do so at the link below. And that's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at OMS and its new home in the Azure portal, some new live share features within Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, as well as Lars' brand new course on continuous integration with Azure App Service and VSTS. Until next week, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.